Fabinho, Fabinho was a defender, Duduka a target here, but both similar bodies. Grable turning shot, and the save made, Nascimento. Duduka a little bit thicker. <laughs> no doubt. 3v1 the other way here. Can he make the extra pass? JT Thomas coming in and lives it on far post. Well done by the ambush. Duduka has the goal, and the ambush have the lead at 1 0. Able to withhold against the early possession from the wave, and now they have a 1 0 lead. Shot! Saved on Dos Santos. Nice save there by Rafa. And able to get it back. Here's Ferdinand coming, lays it off. Dennison back for Max in the middle, but good read by the defender, Jonathan Santos. Jonathan's probably seen that a few times in practice. Here comes Stuart Grable, and he will go to the box on the hit down on Santos. And give Jonathan Santos credit for a good play there. St. Louis so far this year, 7 for 20 with a man advantage, 35 ascent. 35% they have also yielded two shorthand goals, but they'll get a power play goal right there as JT Thomas turns and fires it in. And I believe it's going to be Almeida with the assist. And just like that, the St. Louis ambush are up two to nothing. Max Ferdinand with the free kick. He'll lay it off our side. Chino with a shot and a save made by Nascimento. Lefty and righty option to either side of Max here. Plays it in, Bennett, they block the shot, rebound, follow, knockdown, rebound, follow, blocked in the line, header, Bennett, no! Somehow the ambush keep it out. Two guys leaving their feet for important blocks there from St. Louis. You think these guys came to defend today? Otherwise, he would have come in on the break. Ian goes to Max in the corner, and a back heel flick across, but uh, right in the arms of Nascimento. Uh, legal that he put on... Mario Alvarez, which wiped out Mario, and apparent knee injury. He's out for the game, and who knows how much longer. And now a shot and a goal, and the ambush lead it three to nothing. JT Thomas, his second of the game, and ambush now solidly in control of this game. We'll hope the best for Mario, and, but it didn't look good. We've got to do a little better job of getting getting their shots on frame, like Luan right there. Make the keeper make a save. Good turn there by Stu. Bennett, turning shot, blocked by Felipe. Now, touched in by Grayball! There it is. Ian just does enough to keep it alive, and it's a loose ball in the box, and there's a all it takes is one body in the box, and it's Stuart Grayball right there. The wave have the edge here, so is that going to be enough? Stewart's first goal in four games this season. Ugh. And the ambush answer right back with the Duca. So any momentum the wave had going is canceled out for now. Perhaps that like they can. to me right there. 2-2-1 the other way. Can Chino get No back? call. Marcos. Rolls it in, Rafa right there to make the save. And again, Marcio Leite not available for today's game. He would certainly be a guy you'd like to have launching a few shots from outside. Marcos trying to come down. Shot and a goal. Whoa, what a finish by Mario Marcos on an end-to-end -end rush. That is one of the better goals scored by the Wave opponents this year. And look at the ambush. Coming out to celebrate 5-1 St. Louis. Bennett, he'll launch a shot again, deflected, follow-up shot, save, Nascimento. And that's good stuff from Ian there, right? A little bit more of that. Luan again with a shot, blocked. Chino chasing, mm. he can't get there, and Souza's gonna walk it in for a 6-1. St. Louis lead. Well, Chino had to sell out at midfield to try to get it back. Oidomia making his MASL debut, and he's got a goal. And the ambush posing in fine fashion right now, leading 6-1 to one with 324 left to go in the third period. Don't forget, Milwaukee's next game will be in Kansas City Friday as LSO! Wow. Fires a bomb in from the left point. 
And the wave back on the board, it's six to two. Following up and putting that into the empty nets. Wave able to come out of there with it. Here's Izak. Izak, That's nice one to midfield. That's gotta be the blue, Tripped right? down, and yeah. yes, indeed it is. Kurt Steffen, the official right there. And perhaps that can help Milwaukee continue the momentum. Been unlucky in a couple other opportunities. Bennett shot, what sliding block, block by Jones. Santos. Boy, Jonathan Santos has been everywhere defensively today, and there he was again for St. Louis. Wave desperately trying to get a power play goal out of this one. Bradley will go to Ian. Got the man down, shot the goal! So he has hesitated to get Santos down and then able to nutmeg the keeper, Nascimento. Six or seven minutes left. Down two goals, you're still very much in the game. LSO with a bouncing right foot shot. Nice save there by Nascimento. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Max will run up, play at Bradley. Shot, and the save made, Nascimento. Now can we get it to within one? Still no reason to panic, but you have to keep the ball in play. Can't afford the ball to be going out of bounds. Well, well Diaz with a shot, save made by Diaz. In fact, just... 7 and 29 in the last 36 road games. Bennett in the middle! Bossles! Shot a goal! LSO! Are you kidding me? Hey, when you're hot, you're hot. You're going to get the ball in good places. Credit to Ian for keeping involved. Max trying to walk around Felipe. He'll find Bradley to the near side. Shot oh. a goal! <laughs> oh, Sir Alex! Oh, wow. We are tied at six! Off the bouncy first touch. CVG chips it out of the back. Now Izak running on to it. Izak's two on two with Wiedebach. Izak coming in. Wiedebach! Oh, oh. oh no! has come all the way back to take the lead at 7-6. But uh, there was some pretty good contact in there. Top of the arc, Daduka will lay it off far side. Tony Walls just missing off the top frame. Milwaukee trying to clear. Bennett trying to get it. And Ian Bennett going to get called for a foul. Wow. That was pretty aggressive by Ian. Ambush quickly put it back in. Got to block shots here. Far post, shot is. in the goal. Thomas finds Walls, and the St. Louis ambush tie it up. Whoa, what a big time goal by the ambush with 19.3 seconds left to go. LSO currently on the ball. He had Max circling behind him. Well, let's see what he's going to do here. Across to Max, and... Pass in deflected, and that's going to do it for regulation. We go to overtime. Third time in the series history between these teams. They've gone to overtime. Obviously, Wave has won the previous two. First time, though, I believe we've ever gone overtime in Milwaukee. End of regulation. Wave seven. Ambush seven. Chino. Trying to get around Pachari, gets around one. Chino coming in. Chino with a shot. Save! Nascimento! Good hands. He looks like his little brother. 3v2 the other way. Now Ian in the middle on the 3v2. LSO. LSO coming in with a shot. Save made Nascimento. Mm. Not a bad strike by LSO. Identify what? your marks early here. Up for walls. Little leaping back heel volley into the zone. And going to get a foul on Huffman. Well, quick restart, shot and a goal. Are they going to let it go? Yes, they are. That is a game winner for the ambush. They won it 8-7. Kept it in play. And that talking after the play right there is that Pachar, totally unnecessary. The St. Louis ambush with a quick restart after the foul. And was that Felipe who got the game winner? Let's check it out one more time. Tony Walls put it in quickly. And yes, it was. The assist will go to JT Thomas, who was kind of tied up with that quick restart. 
but then Felipe moved in to finish it off. Great shot there, no chance for Rafa to stop that. Time of the goal at 2.56. What a victory by the St. Louis Ambush. What a game here today at Panther Arena.